Hello, today I start a series of videos about how I will develop my military base in the game RimWorld. The meaning of this scenario is that I want to develop my military faction from scratch, which will have a hierarchy, its own commanders and soldiers, and will also be able to become a real force among all other factions. I hope you like my idea, you are on the Johnny Play channel and here we go. To begin with, I want to say that I started the game with three colonists, each of whom had certain skills that would be very useful at the beginning of the game. I took a medical scientist, a builder miner, and also a cook gardener. I think that such specialists will help us a lot to survive for a while until we replenish our ranks with other colonists. The first thing I did was occupy a ruined building immediately near the place of our landing and rebuild it. I built three beds, a table with chairs, and a chessboard so that the colonists could have some fun. Immediately after that, I decided that it was necessary to build a small warehouse for our resources. And after that he began to fill the room with all the important machines and tables. These were a table for cutting stone, a table for dividing animals, a table for cooking, and a table for research. The next step was to mark out the areas for gardening. This time I decided that I will grow strawberry cotton and medicinal root. And, of course, we need to make the most of all our minerals that are on the map and get as many components and steel as possible, which will be very useful to us, especially at the beginning of the game. Later, we researched batteries and solar panels, which gave us the opportunity to make electric lighting and also a refrigerator, because the stock of dry rations is almost exhausted and we need to prepare fresh food. By the way, at some point a lone raider decided to attack us, in general, the fight with him did not cause any problems, the only problem is that he was able to get too close, which ultimately led me to think that my colonists need more powerful weapons. I decided to call my faction the new law, and our settlement will be called Fort Instan. I think this pretty well describes the whole essence of our faction and our enemies and friends will immediately understand that we have to be reckoned with. But until we have built up enough firepower, it is still too early to talk about some respect and other things, the final is still too far. And by the way, there are so many things in our warehouse that it's time to expand it, I really hope that in the future its dimensions will not be too large, but for this, we will have to take a very responsible approach to sorting and choosing the items that we need the most. In any case, we will be able to sell all the extra things, and if we don't sell them, we will throw them away. On our map, I found huge deposits of gold and emerald, so I decided to get them right away. I know that this increases the price of our colony and the raids will be bigger and more difficult, but in my opinion, this is all the fun of the game. At some point, a work started hunting my colonist and we were forced to start hunting him back. We are very lucky that we have firearms and the animal was not even able to come close to us. Another raid, this time we are attacked by two enemies, they were armed with cold weapons, so it was not difficult for us to shoot them from a distance. Little by little, I began to replace the wooden walls with stone ones so that neither enemies nor just fire, for example from lightning, could set fire to our house. I started crafting additional weapons for the colonists as we currently only have one bolt action rifle and a pistol which makes almost no sense so i decided to craft another rifle and also a shotgun for our colonists this will help to stop enemies even at a long distance and those who come close enough can be destroyed with a shotgun at close range i took the quest to shelter two colonists who might join us I was actually a bit afraid to do this because I already had a bad experience with such colonists causing a riot in the middle of the night and I almost lost all my colonists trying to destroy the traitors. Therefore, in order to reduce the risks to a minimum, I took away from our guests all the weapons they had. In any case, as long as they are our allies, they will be useful to us because of their outstanding abilities in various fields. But at some point, I realized that we don't have enough space for our guests, so I decided that it was time to build an additional room above the already built one. And again, an aggressive animal decided to attack our colonists. This time it was a giant muffalo, which our colonists met with a hail of bullets and were able to knock down the animal. Another raid and we are again attacked by one raider with no firearms. And like everyone else, we met him on the approach and knocked him to the ground without any unnecessary movements. 
By the way, while we were trying to shoot him, he ran towards the llamas, which I was very afraid to shoot at, because they were not guilty of anything, but my colonists turned out to be such excellent shooters that not a single bullet hit the poor animals. Here it occurred to me that it would be good to build a prison where we could recruit new soldiers, so I did it. I received a request to accept a person suffering from abasia into the colony. I decided that in general it would not be a problem for me to feed this colonist until he recovers and can walk again, so I agreed to accept him into our ranks. I started to set up our prison and in the end it turned out pretty well. I hope it will have a good effect on the desire of our prisoners to join us. I expanded our main room and added a place to put a sewing machine in order to be able to sew different clothes for our colonists. For example, all my colonists will need winter clothes very soon. I started to complete all our walls from wood to stone. I really hope that in the end it will play at least some role and I am doing it for a reason. I decided to make a fence for our garden so that in the future this area could also be used as a cattle pen. I decided that the time has come to expand our base and we need to complete the destroyed building that is a little to the left of our main house and then simply connect these two premises into one. We were attacked by four aggressive turtles. My colonists coped well with this and killed all of them on the approach. But then I began to understand that even if the shell of the turtle holds our bullets, what will happen if the raiders are encased in armor? Because of this, I thought again about the fact that we need very good and powerful weapons. A caravan came to us from which I bought 31 components and sold all the resources we didn't need. And by the way, our guests thanked us for the shelter and left our map. I will hope that everything will be fine with them, and there is also a possibility that at some point they will return to join us as full-fledged colonists. Attack of three readers, this time one of them has a firearm. But as usual, this did not cause any difficulties because my colonists knocked down two raiders from a distance and the third simply ran away. By the way, we captured these two raiders, but one of them died from blood loss. I hope that we will be able to recruit the second one because he has quite good shooting skills and we will need him. My other room was almost renovated and it started to rain with lightning and it was at this moment that I realized that it is not even in vain that I build stone walls for our houses, I build them just for such cases. By the way, I built a crematorium because I had already started digging graves and made our fence around the garden out of stone so that the fire could not set fire to our fields. A shuttle fell from the sky with a girl. She turned out to be the daughter of one of our colonists, so even with poor abilities and no ability to shoot, I was forced to save her and then accept her into the colony just so that our useful colonist would be in a good mood. By the way, it will be useful in cleaning, carrying, and cutting stones, so you should not worry about it. A ward began hunting one of my colonists, but another colonist scared him off with a well-aimed shot. After that, our colonist continued his hunt, because you can't leave an aggressive animal alive. With this I propose to finish the first series of our project. Please like, comment on the video, subscribe to the channel, and also watch other videos on the channel. Johnny was with you. Goodbye.